Hello and welcome back to Uncut Long War 2. Today we're going to get introduced to a soldier that was provided by Time to Get T-Wrecked. We've met a lot of super elite, highly trained soldiers over the course of this campaign, but the bulk of our forces have always been comprised of average men and women. Mark Hunter is a former military engineer from the Australian Defense Force. Records show that his performance was satisfactory during his service. Since joining with XCOM, his mechanical skills have been the same. Satisfactory. With all the specialists and engineers already in our barracks, it's hard for a run-of-the-mill soldier to score high marks. But that doesn't mean Hunter isn't a valuable member of the team. Though he has no official culinary training, Hunter is an excellent cook and is serving as the head chef on the Avenger in addition to his other duties. Able to turn rations into a five-course meal, he's the sole reason we've been seeing less and less Advent burgers in our pantries, which I'm sure Central Officer Bradford is happy about. As much as people enjoy his cooking though, he's acquired the nickname Tyrant because of the way he runs the kitchen and the radio in the Avengers Lounge. In addition to having a well-trained palate, he's got well-trained ears, and often tries to force jazz and other types of easy listening music on the other members of the crew. We're not going to see Mark Hunter on a mission today, but when we do, I'm sure the aliens will be in for a very smooth, savory, and stylish defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, but mostly gentlemen, it is time for a guerrilla ops mission, Operation Frost Wheel. Our objective for today is to destroy an alien relay. The mission is difficult, and our reward is 215 supplies. But more important than any of that stuff is we're countering the dark event Show of Force, which increases the number of enemies on each mission for a month. This is an incredibly annoying dark event, especially with the Long War Alien Pack. We've already got the Naga Naga Nagas slithering around in the back alleys far outside of our line of sight and picking off our soldiers so having extra of any of that kind of foolishness is not a good thing so we're going to put a stop to it right here and right now so let's see which soldiers are going to do that for us all right let's talk about it first up we have buster doom guy thompson coming in hot as our grenadier he is wearing an exosuit so he's got access to a rocket launcher and he's also using two plasma grenades with that now we're going to go in and change something real quick we're going to give him access to bubbles this is a special grenade launcher that increases his grenade shred by one so normally the plasma grenade will shred two armor with this grenade launcher that is from grimmy's loot mod they will shred three Next up, we got Frederick Blackjack Carter coming in hot, and uh, Blazing Caveman, you should you should be a little bit afraid because Blackjack Carter is wearing the Mangler chest piece, and as you guys know, this thing is out to collect souls from us, so Blackjack Carter may be the next soul that gets collected, but hopefully he is badass enough to prevent that from happening. He's also using the fire shotgun. He's got ionic axes on his back, a rocket launcher, and talon rounds, which means his critical hit chance is ridiculous. So, next, we have Solomon Gomez coming back. I always bring him on a mission when I want to whoop some serious ass. He is a ranger, and he's got tracer rounds to increase his accuracy, the mimic beacon, and a very beefy magnetic rifle with an, uh, what is it called? A repeater, which has a 5% chance to instant kill a target, which is pretty awesome. Next up, we have one of my characters, Janet Bad Girl Brooks. She is a trooper with the mark target ability, so she can increase our accuracy when we really need it. She's got armor penetrating rounds and a battle scanner. Then Alfie Green Jelly O'Brien is our medical protocol specialist, so she's got med kits and a mind shield. And finally, Akani Pile is our combat hacker, so she's got, uh, but she's also a bit of a hybrid, so she's got access to three med kits and. Uh, combat protocol and a bunch of other abilities so without further ado let's go stop this alien relay from getting destroyed oh wait no we're, we're going to destroy a relay we're not going to protect anything let's go blow some stuff up okay let's do this all right let's do this communication relay only has 14 health which pretty much means we can dookie blast it in in a very short amount of time with very minimal effort so let's get into it man uh on a, on a different note, I've been having a lot of technical issues lately. This is a mech longbow, which I'm assuming it just has an increased range on its rockets, so we'll have to be a little bit wary about that until we find out if it has any special abilities. But uh, I've been having a, a decent amount of technical difficulties as of late. There would have been 
uh, XCOM videos. So if you're watching this, you know, the day it comes out, uh, I would have had XCOM videos coming out a lot sooner if my external hard drive didn't combust into flames. I, well, it, it didn't actually explode into flames, but it stopped working. So I, I lost a decent amount of footage, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. I had a bunch of episodes recorded and ready to get out to you, the peoples, my adoring legions of fans. And look at this, a regular old-fashioned mooten. Feels good to see one of those things. Um, but yeah, but unfortunately, sometimes technology, as advanced as it is, doesn't like to work the way it's supposed to. So, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's unfortunate that these things happen. Am I going to buy another external hard drive? Not anytime soon, because those things are freaking expensive. You know, for, for a terabyte, it's, it's, it's something like 70 bucks, and I don't feel like spending 70 bucks on anything right now. I just spent $40 on the, the, uh, the season pass for Four Honors so I could play the Shinobi and the Centurion a week before everybody else. But, you know, it, it was, was it worth it? Sure, I guess, maybe. I got some views, and I had some fun. But realistically, eh, it didn't matter that much. Uh, and from the looks of things, we're going to have to go kind of around. I was considering pushing through this way, but as we can see, there are a lot of civilians blocking the path. So uh, we're, we're going to have to take a slightly roundabout approach to this. And we have to be quick about it because we do have a limited number of turns. So to be as safe as possible, we are going to throw a battle scanner onto the top of this building because this is the direction we are going to head. Let's find out if we reveal anything. And another thing that I forgot to mention is that I had to verify the integrity of my game's cache. So for the next few missions, until I feel like restarting the game, my swords are not going to be 100% accurate, which is going to make the game infinitely more difficult. But that's okay. I'm good at XCOM. I just hit the 400 hour mark, which means I know what the fuck I'm doing. And I'm a badass. And I had to use a little profanity there just to, to, to assert that fact a little bit more. You know? But yeah, uh, it, it, it's always really unfortunate when, when technology doesn't want to cooperate. But it, it, it's, you know, I, I don't want to get too philosophical about it. But it is humbling when, when the Wi-Fi goes out, you know? Cause we we get we get so comfortable with with our amenities, you know, we're just just sitting around on your phone looking at memes all the time and just and just just doing modern human things. And the patrol is advancing towards us, which means we are most likely going to have to engage right now. And that kind of sucks because I'm not ready to start. Let's take a look at the yeah, we're gonna have to engage right now uh, from a very awful position. No less. I don't think we're going to be able to do a proper Overwatch ambush because if we do, the mech will rocket pretty much everybody. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, and that is just by throwing a flashbang. Buster Doom Guy Thompson has the flashbanger ability, so he gets one of these for free, and then we'll just shoot at people as we need to. But you know what? Solomon Gomez, I have, I'm, I'm putting a little bit of faith in right now. I'm gonna overwatch with him and no one else, because I think he's got. I think he's got this in the bag, and then everyone else will be used to take out the mech. Seems like a solid plan. All right, now let's kick it off. Let's see. You know, we get used to our modern amenities, then the Wi-Fi goes out, and all of a sudden the world doesn't seem so, so small. Things things get a bit bigger. Oh wow, that's a, probably a bug. The flashbang shredded some armor. <laughs> Bubbles makes our flashbangs super powerful, but I'm not even going to complain about that. Don't care. <laughs> so we got some damage on the codex. It's not going to split because of the flashbang. The mech is on Overwatch, but we can deal with that no problem. Uh, now, before we start taking shots at it, I have to consider my approach and and see what everybody's percentage 74 pretty i got some decent percentages uh and and the shot percentages are going to determine whether or not i mark it or whether i just go for broke and start shooting this thing in the face and i'm leaning towards just shooting it in the face because it, yeah it, it seems like i'll be able to just blast it without without having to worry so let's let's start it off with a shot from green jelly o'brien Pat, pat, pat. There we go. 
Halo Reach DMR doing what it's supposed to. Don't worry, that thing is programmed to ignore one point of armor by default. Now we'll take another shot with our pistol first with uh, Janet Bad Girl Brooks. She has the quick draw ability, so that first action, if it's her pistol, it is free. And then we'll take the second shot with her DMR. Pat, pat, pat. The mech has been eliminated. Flawless. And now we get to do fun stuff. Like move right next to the codex and blast it in the face with a Connie Pele. 100%. Don't need a mod for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, the, the Wi-Fi goes out, man. And you, you sort of start to remember... That that the world is is uh, maybe not a scary place. That that's a bit of an exaggeration. But all of a sudden, you can't get in contact with your best buddies uh, and, and unless you uh, unless you call them. You know, it's, it's just just weird things happen. And already we see the the struggle of not having accurate swords. I'm gonna try and throw an axe at this guy's face. It's got a fifty percent chance to hit. Look at that! Right past his ankles. Alright, look, I'm not going to take any chances with this because, you know, if I let him live, he's going to kill us. So I'm going to run and gun up to this guy right next to him, all up in his grill. He ha Oh my goodness. Okay, so the, the Advent Sentinel, he has an innate defense of 20%. And a tactical sense of an additional 20%, which is completely negating the fact that I'm standing directly next to this fool with a shotgun pointed down his throat. But it doesn't matter, because Frederick Blackjack Carter is amazing. So there we go. A very clean first turn, or first engage. That was solid. That was very solid. So let's see what other enemies are on the, on the map. Got an Advent Goon Squad with a Grenadier, a Mech, and an Officer. Nothing too crazy. We've got rockets, so we may be able to blow them off the roof. And then we have a Mutant Elite over there with a s double sectoid. We haven't seen sectoids in a couple of months, it feels like. And the plain as day, regular, old-fashioned Mutant as well with his Sidewinder buddy. So nothing too tough, but if we're not smart about how we approach this, we will take unnecessary casualties. Yeah, because cause, cause the, th the thing is, it's, it's, really, it's really insane how much our lives are, are based around in the internet. I mean, the, 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 whole, the whole thing that I'm tr trying to do with, uh, you know, yeah, like the whole, what, what am I saying? Y YouTube in itself, it, it, it's all internet. And if my internet goes out, then all of a sudden I have no anything i have no way to to really up i i can't i can't do do jack and unfortunately the angle here is not allowing me to shoot this rocket exactly where i want to so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off on taking the shot for now and see if we can change up the way Whatever we do this say. so we'll move akani pile up just a tiny bit and then we will bring Buster Doom Guy Thompson behind this car. And we will see if his rocket is doing what it's supposed to do. And yes, this rocket should destroy the floor beneath the mech. We can't see it right now, but we know it's there. So boom, baby, boom. Fire that joint. I think... Yeah, okay, we knocked something to the ground. We knocked the officer to the ground. I don't know if anything happened to the mech. I'm not entirely sure... But I feel like it fell to the ground or it's dead or something. So that's okay. And, and but, but it's almost weird to a certain degree that, that our lives are so dictated by whether or not there's free Wi-Fi at whatever place we're going to. Or, or whether or not we're getting good service in, at a certain point in time. Because, you know, five or six years ago, you know, maybe ten years ago or whatever, that wasn't the case. You know, I... I had dial-up until I was 15, maybe? And if anybody's on the younger side, like, if you're 15 right now or anywhere within that age range, you probably don't know what the fuck dial-up is. And that, to a certain degree, is a blessing because dial-up is ridiculous. But at the same time, 
there's a certain level of crossing your damn fingers and hoping for a critical hit that comes from no uh, <laughs> there's a certain amount of there's a certain amount of sort of I don't know how to explain it, but there's the, the the phrase I'm look the best way I can describe it is comfortable with with aloneness that comes with not growing up in the quote plugged in society, right? Uh, and I'm not seeing too many things that we need to do really here. So what I'm, I'm gonna toss out an aid protocol to Slayer Gomez because he's in half cover, and then we will Overwatch with. Alfie O'Brien, and then we'll we'll take a look inside the we'll take a look we'll look inside the uh, the scanning tower thing to see if there are any good rewards that we can squeeze out of it. Alien facility lead soldier gains complete immunity from the next two attacks. I'll go for the lead on a facility, even though I already know where two other two additional facilities are. So no, uh, you know, no harm, no foul. Boom, got it. That's going to help us in, in the grand scheme of things, the macro game. Yeah, so so th there's this... Uh, oh, we didn't hit the mech at all. I thought we hit it. That's fine. I think we're going to... Are we going to get rocketed? I'm not sure. But close combat special is going to proc. The mech going to take a decent amount of damage. No, we are not going to get rocketed because the mech is going after the mimic beacon decoy. But it is moving in slow motion again. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. And it missed. Mimic beacons are, I don't believe they're supposed to be able to dodge hits, or I think hits are supposed to be 100%, so, you know. Oh my goodness, here we go again with with, <laughs> with the foolishness happening. <laughs> oh Christ. The Mutant Elite sprinting onto the battlefield, as well as the Sectoid. We've got five turns remaining until the objective uh, self-destructs or something happens to it. But uh, I believe we have enough time to deal with this. We are going to miss, but we had a stock on that gun. Second Overwatch coming out, also a miss, but another stock. And then the close combat special is doing some big damage to the old school Mooten. Sidewinder moving into position, going after the Mimic Beacon. I wasn't sure if that was the smart decision at first, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad I went for it. But yeah, the idea is that because I grew up in in such a way that the internet was not given to me in in the form that we have it now, until I was partially developed, it's significantly easier for me to just be in a situation where I say, "Eh, I don't I don't need to be on the net right now," or or. I'm okay with the with, with certain things going off, but I still feel it. I still get a little bit of a tingle when when the Wi-Fi goes down. I still get that. It's like, mm, what am I going to do without the internet feel? You know, so so I, I I'm I'm not totally immune to that stuff. Now we've got to focus. Now we've got to cut the chit chat because things just got a bit hairy. the The main issue here is that. A lot of our our moves just became somewhat unsafe because we're we're, we're fighting a war on on two-ish fronts, but I think we can we, we I think we can get around it. Uh, we're gonna try and take take out the Mutant Elite first. So Buster moving up and then getting ready to lob that grenade. Unfortunately, it doesn't hit the Sectoid as well, which is what I was hoping for. But we need to get it out to get rid of some of his armor because he is way too brolic for us to deal with just by shooting and trying to go through four points. That's not bad. I may start doing some risky stuff here, though. I may start getting a little bit uh, out of control. I'm I'm thinking really hard about this because the the last couple of missions they've we we haven't failed a mission yet but they have been unnecessarily difficult because of dumb moves that I've made and I'm trying to avoid that this time so I'm I'm thinking extra careful about the the simplest things now this grenade 
it is most likely going to be packed with some 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 high octane stuff and it will probably destroy all of the nearby cover even if it doesn't hit all of it so we've got to put some extra consideration into how we how we decide to move but i I, i'm feeling like we can do a a, a certain type of wombo combo here so let's let's try something out let's try something out first grenade is going to go like this all right it's going dangerously close to blackjack carter but don't worry He's gonna be fine. Boom. Explosion. Shredded three points of armor. Got rid of the sectoids cover as well. Mooton still has 25 health remaining. That is a lot. But how are we gonna deal with that? We can take a risk. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill the Mooton Elite in one turn. I, I was considering going for a Wombo combo on it and just, just focus firing. But it may be a bit smarter for us to take a slightly more conservative approach to this. And when I say slightly more conservative, what I actually mean is using Frederick Blackjack Carter to shoot it in the face. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. No problem, boss. Yeah. Yeah, is that damn man? Tactical sense and defense is really messing with me right now. Hmm. Can I guarantee? I could guarantee some damage. You know what? I'm gonna go for the guarantee instead. Because I'm, I'm killing two birds with one stone, or at least damaging two birds with one rocket. So that, 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 that's a safer move for the, for the moment. And the rest of the turn is gonna clean up uh, fairly comfortably. The mech, once again, is burrowing underground because it's all types of buggy. But it's fine. We'll just shoot it and eliminate it. No problem. Crisis averted. And then the mutant that's chilling wide out in the open, I'm not worried about that at all. I'll, I'll fire my pistol as the first action just in case. We did connect and kill it. Those armor-penetrating rounds coming in handy. And then we will overwatch to finish it off. And <sighs> still in a in a slightly tight spot. The Mutant Centurion does have grenades, which means four tile rule is gonna get us screwed over right now with with Buster Doom Guy and Akani, so I have to move her. Even if all of the places she can move to are very unsafe. So <sighs> I'll put it to you this way. I would rather get crit by a Sidewinder than a Mutant Elite. Oh, shit. I just realized. Um, I realized nothing. I realized this situation is, is a bit more grim than I would like it to be, but that's okay. Um, pfft, YOLO. Success, but not complete success. Uh, to finish it off, though... I'm not, I'm not I'm not entirely sure what the best course of action here is. Um maybe just an Overwatch. Yeah, Solomon Slayer Gomez is just going to go on Overwatch. Our our positioning is just a little bit off so we're not getting the maximum effectiveness out of our our soldiers. And the Mutant just going for a suppression. That is the best case scenario out of an incredibly deadly target. The mind spin going to go out on uh, green jelly, but it's not going to have any effect because of her mind shield. The overwatch, boom! I take everything back that I was saying about our positioning being slightly off because that was a beautiful shot. The flank coming out, I totally anticipated this happening, but the poison is going to be completely ineffective because of our medkits. Wow. You know, of, of all the, the times things have been going absolutely horribly, I think this stroke of good luck, it, it, it was a, it's about time. Uh, but we, we've got to, we've got to actually get to the objective now because we only have three turns remaining. So I, I, I should be, I should have enough time to do it without running to it right now. And so I'm going to, I'm going to be patient. But if I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I might cheat if I'm about to fail this mission. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, we, but we, we got this, though. We got There's no way we can lose. There's no way we can lose. He said before he was defeated. Yeah, but but uh, but yeah. What, what do you, how do you guys feel about the, the internet though, and 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 the effects it has on 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 people and 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 society? Because so, something we're most likely going to talk about in the next episode is women. Because I think I, how many episodes have I gone without talking at length about relationships and dating and shit? Um, and I I feel it coming on a, a long rant about you know going on dates and talking on the phone and shit um and texting and all that nonsense but 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 how how do you guys feel about um you know the, the internet and and how it's completely taken over our culture and our society and 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 how it's uh you know it's th th there's no getting away from it it's 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 everywhere and it's never going away. There was a point, you know, going back to the whole dial-up thing, there was a point when I, I would think to myself, you know, man, we could stay with dial-up. Like, we don't have to go high speed, but are you kidding me? Anything less than three megabits per second is basically like living in a third world country. And that is totally inappropriate to say, but it's the truth. It's the truth. How ridiculous is it when you're trying to download something and you got really slow speeds? It's crazy, you know. But the, but there was a point in in time when when that wasn't the case. When it was just just like oh, internet's a little slow today. The, the dial up, whatever. And, and but but you know, it's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And all of our shots are missing against this mutant, and and that that's the the the, the biggest issue here. Um, but you know. We got this in the bag. There we go. Solomon coming out to save the day. He still has 71 accuracy. Close combat special is going to proc, but tactical sense and the innate defense from the Mutant Elite is, is too much to handle. He's going for the melee. It, not, it stunned him. It didn't knock him unconscious, but that did a big burst of damage. The Mangler chest piece is keeping him alive. Uh, at this point, Akani Pile... Is oh shit! We're not gonna get to the objective in time. Oh my god! Are we not gonna do this? Are we gonna fail the objective because I'm an idiot? Ah, we are. Oh my god! No, I refuse to fail this mission. I refuse. I refuse to fail this mission. Some somebody's gonna get shot in the back by the mutant because I'm an idiot. Yo, I'm not failing this mission, guys. I promise you I'm not failing this mission. No problem, boss. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank goodness. Buster Doom Guy Thompson obviously ran track in another life because this man could this man got some legs on him. Uh we're not failing this fucking mission. Ben not, no. We're not having that. We're not playing that game today. Mm mm. Not after all we've been through. Okay, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna mark target on the Mutant Elite and take a shot at him. Bringing our hit chance up to 81%. That 9 damage is not going to be enough to kill him, but at this point the kill is guaranteed because of our stock. So we can wipe the sweat off of our brow. And there we go. And we're gonna get some loot out of it as well. It's the first piece of loot we've managed to pick up for a long time. Usually we get the loot, but it's not in a position where we can easily grab it. But, yeah, yeah, fuck out of here. We're not failing this mission. Mm-mm. You must have thought. XCOM trying to play me. Shit. It would have been so silly if that shot missed. I would have uninstalled the game for real that time, guys. I know I throw that empty threat around a lot, but... It, you know. uh, <laughs> look, um... So, so we're pretty much... We're, we're wrapping it up now. And it feels it feels good, man. It feels good to be playing XCOM. Did that not kill it? Oh my goodness, it's got one health. <laughs> but Frederick Blackjack Carter has run and gun, so he's gonna save the day. A Solomon Slayer Gomez could also finish the job for us, but it's okay. It's it's always cool to kill things with. <laughs> it's always cool to kill things with a shotgun. But line of sight is not going to allow us to do this. Just all the things that could have gone wrong on this mission are staggering. 
<laughs> My goodness. So the Mangler chess piece is not going to claim another soul today. But uh, but yeah, that, that that was pretty good. And it, it, it feels good to be playing XCOM. Uh, you know, j- just in case anybody's ever been curious about why uh, I don't upload XCOM videos every day. It's just because it, it takes time to record them and render them. And between doing this and For Honor and, and a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, there's, there's never enough hours in the day. So I, I dole it out little by little. Uh, XCOM is favorite game. You know, one of my favorite games of all time. And, and I always get a kick out of playing. And even though I do become a salty, salty sailor from time to time, that does not mean I'm, I'm not having a blast playing the game and... and you know, sharing the characters that you guys shared with me, with with the rest of the the people, and and, and all that good stuff. It's 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 truly a joy. You know, in 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 all regards. So so you know, even if the XCOM videos are are not coming out lightning fast, just know that there's a lot of love in every single one. You know, and it's uh that, that was too mushy gushy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel. A, a certain way about being that mushy gushy, you know. You know, we're we're friends, okay. We we don't need to get, we don't need need to start throwing I loves yous around, okay. We don't we don't. Need, I just showed you guys a side of myself that I'm not comfortable showing with everybody. So you guys are getting a, a sneak preview of what it's going to be like when we get married, okay. And believe you me, we are going to get married someday, okay. Major Mario, Blazing Caveman. You guys don't know it yet, or maybe you do know it now, but you didn't know before. Our wedding's coming up, all right? Saulo, if you're still watching, our wedding is coming up as well. I'll fly out to Brazil. You don't have to worry about sending your family over here. I'll go to them, because that's the kind of husband that I will be. Facilita- all right, this is ridiculous. (laughs) Let's just see if anybody got a promotion. And then we'll, we'll sign off here. No, nobody got a promotion. It's fine. Um, and the only re- the reason I check every time I know the 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 thing didn't pop up that said anybody got a promotion, but I have a mod installed that gives all soldiers experience for alien kills. So even if people don't get a kill, and even if the promotion doesn't show up right away, sometimes when you get back to the barracks, there will be one. So we got a lot of items out of this that mission. We got a big reward from the supplies, and. Uh, it feels pretty damn good to, to walk away with a win and no dead bodies. So, on that note, the name of the game, come on, you guys know, say it with me, XCOM 2. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR, gaming for comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.